Well, hello, this is Alan, and I'm just here with a desk tour of where I, you know, work and make videos for you guys. Um, now, what we're going to do, we're just going to start from the left and go all the way to the right, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, we'll just start on the desk first. So, up here I have my Turtle Beach X12 headset. They're nice little cheap cheap headsets, you know, they run for about 50 to $60. And they sound great for the price. I would recommend going and get, picking up one of these, and they're designed specifically for, you know, the Xbox. This is the chat cable that run, that would plug into your controller. You know, oh yeah, one more thing, it's got, um, you know, game chat, sound, and then, you know, bass boost, and then you can mute your sound. Now this, this hanger is just basically a giant, um, clothespin. It's just nailed into the wall. And it actually makes a pretty good stand, you just can't put too much weight on it, otherwise it will fall. And, um... Now we'll start over here. That's just a JBL computer speaker that my, that I picked up a long time ago. Had them forever. Don't currently use them right now. They're just there. And then um, right here we have a Samsung 32-inch LED TV. As you can see, it's a Samsung. And then uh, you know, then it's hooked up to my Mac, which is running 10.9 Mavericks, and there's a 2012, late 2012. Mac Mini, which is right here. I'll go over it since I just brought it up. So it's a late 2012 Mac Mini with four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and it has a Intel Core i5 clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, which is the stock clock speed. And um, it's doing really good for me actually. It's I've had it for almost a year and a half now, and I just love it. It does anything I ask it to and it never complains. It's for people that don't run graphically intense stuff. And speaking of graphic graphic stuff, it actually has an Intel HD 4000 GPU with I think 512 megabytes of RAM or 1 gig of RAM of video RAM, but I'm not exactly sure what's in there. But uh, um yeah, okay. Well, we'll go over the keyboard and mouse here, so this is a Razer Black Widow 2013 fully mechanical keyboard designed for the Mac specifically because it has, you know, your vol your volume buttons, your mute, and has like mission control and brightness, and and you also got your eject button to eject the thing. But there's nothing in there, so it's not going to do anything. But it's a fully mechanical keyboard, and this is just um this isn't the ultimate because if it was the ultimate, these keys would light up and everything. But that actually doesn't matter because it looks good and it feels nice and that's all that matters. And um, it's a pretty heavy keyboard. Um, it's really nice. It I had it since Christmas and it's done good for me so far. I haven't had a problem with it yet. And it also features USB pass through with also headphone jack and mi microphone input jacks on the side which support pass through and then this requires it goes all in one cord it, you know it takes up two USBs and then you got your audio jack and the microphone jack so then you can just hook it up to any computer then it will work just fine and this mouse I had it for almost a year it is the Razer Naga 2012 this actually kind of looks good with the 13 Widow but we kind of can't, we can't tell the difference because the Naga, they redesigned it a little bit and made it look better, but this is, this is fine for me. It does anything I ask it to. I never had a problem with it. And, um, it feels nice. It, it, you know, great response time. Um, it just feels great. I'm happy with it. And I will never probably buy another mouse again until this fails, but. I would always recommend raising mouses, even though they could be a little expensive. But that I got for eighty dollars, really cheap at Best Buy. And um, under here, you see, I have a five hundred gig Western Digital My Passport that I'm currently using for Apple Time Machine on my computer. And um, nice little hard drive. I've had it since you know I've had it for a while now, since Christmas, and never had an issue. Works great. 
And then um, over here we have this little box here is the Elgato Game Capture HD, which is what I use to record gaming videos and game reviews, etc., and let's plays and stuff like that. Then over here we have the Xbox 360 Elite with um, a 120 gigabyte hard drive currently connected to it on the side over here. And then, now this TV is an Insignia 19 inch TV and I've had it, well this TV was actually manufactured in 2010 and I think I got it probably around 2010 or 11, had it for two or three years. I think. I, I'm not exactly sure exactly when I bought it. Well, my dad actually bought it for me because it was a gift from him. And, um, well, it's done me great. And let's just say it's it's just a great, great TV. It's kind of cheaply made. You know, it, said it, it was $129 at Best Buy, not even on sale. It was, an, it was just a normal base price. And, um, it's done me good, done me good. I'm still using it to this day for uh, dual monitors for the computer. Now in here I just have, I have a photo well, from the top field dragster when I went this summer. And then this stone right here is like a lucky me ball marker kind of stone that I got for Christmas from my one of my most friends like family. Um, and they, they actually made that themselves. They didn't buy it from anyone. They made that. And um... Here's my controller I use on an everyday basis with with the chat pad currently hooked up and I have Intech rechargeable batteries and they actually speaking of, speaking of the batteries they work great and um never had an issue I rarely ever have to charge them and they just do anything you ask it to never fails and they're they you know they feel kind of cheap but they're well made they're well made Oh yeah, this was a coaster too. But here's the remote to the um, Samsung TV that I showed you earlier over there. Okay, so this controller I did not buy. I current I actually made this myself. Um, what I did was I took it completely apart. Uh, you know, cleaned up everything, and um, and then I swapped out the analog sticks. And these are analog sticks I actually got off of eBay and um, you know they're red analog sticks to match the red that I painted it uh, I cleaned off everything including the buttons because they had a lot of grime on it and you know the d-pad I painted a different color it's like a camouflage kind of color and then there, this is actually the white is actually the original color of the controller I just put some um, you know painters tape on it then I just painted over it and and then on the back, you know, the triggers are camouflaged, and they, you know, the bumpers and this plate are blue. Same with the bottom. Um, I'm really proud of it. It's a nice controller. It's been through a lot. One thing, it has some wear, like it has a crack there. Some of these screws, we actually had to kind of drill some of the plastic away just uh, so we can get into the screws. Uh, you can barely notice it though, like it's not too bad. And um, oh yeah, that was a mistake we made. But this was my first controller I ever, like you know, rebuilt myself. So, and then I just have another basic black 360 controller, which is currently charging on the thing right now. Um, that nice controller. Um, now, now moving on to the moving to the right. Well, we just have a camera case, which is which is for the camera I'm using right now, and then this phone is just a cheap but um, VTech phone that you know, Direct 6.0 phone that I had uh, we had to get from Best Buy because we needed a house phone for for you know many many purposes because our cell phones do not work here. We're stuck in AT and T, which I would not recommend that to anyone. It's terrible service, but. Now, this Epson printer we had, I had for a long time. It was my dad's. He got a new printer because, you know, he wanted to be able to wireless print and everything. So, this got, this actually got handed down to me. It's complete with the scanner and it's got, you know, just a regular printer or whatever it's supposed to do and it's an ink shit. So, if I open it, you can see you got the ink cartridges. And I do have some spares lying around just in case that those go bad. 
and um, you know they got a scanner and everything. And, um, you know you can scan in black and white. You can copy a certain amount of papers. And I'm, this lamp had it for a long time. It's just a little lamp that I can switch on at night if I'm like playing a game or something. And now. This is just a bunch of blank CDs. They're not like dual layer or anything. They're just they're just blanks, you know, CDs, just regular ones. They're not fancy or anything. Um, this red shelf my dad built for me. Thank him for that. Um, now moving on, we have like a bunch of Xbox 360 games like Mass Effect 2, and, you know, Mass Effect 3, which I was I love the series. Great games. Um, played through them, you know, leveled up. Got a bunch of stuff, you know, got Far Cry 3, the new Need for Speed Rivals. This game, Crisis 3, it wasn't really worth it. I pre-ordered it for 60 bucks. wasn't really worth it. Like, the campaign was really short, but this was mostly based on multiplayer. But Crisis, but then, you know, Crisis 2, I got, you know, for $15 at GameStop. Really good deal, for, especially for the game, too. Because that the, the second one was a good game. Same with the first one. They... They were the first one was more of an open world kind of thing where the second one was really mostly based on a path. There was barely anything you can explore in the second one, but I even got Battlefield 3. I, I didn't get the Battlefield 4 because a lot of people were having issues with it and I just wanted to just kind of stay away from it, from it you know. And then Grand Theft Auto 5 that everyone was really that was highly anticipated for this year, for 2013. You got Portal 2, had the game forever, got it, got it a day after it came out. Great game, a lot of fun, played through it. Oh man, it was fun. And then I have the original Halo that I am going to probably do a walkthrough on soon. And then I have the Orange Box, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's basically Half-Life 2 and Episode 1 and Episode 2. And then with Team Fortress 2 and Portal, the first Portal, you know, if you see on the back, it's got Episode 2... And then it's got Portal Team Fortress 2, and a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And at the time when I got that, I got it from Blockbuster for really cheap when it was new. Um, Plants vs. Halo Reach, Plants vs. Zombies, Odd World Munch's Odyssey, which was which was actually one another one of the launch titles of the original Xbox. Um, never finished it. I just got it for fun. I got it. I got it from this place. It, I got it for five bucks. I thought, why not? Because it was really cheap. Um, Halo 4 wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Like the campaign was good. It's just I wish they could have done better on the Forge. But I got the first Black Ops. I will never get the second one. The second one wasn't good at all. And um, yeah, now let's move under the desk. Now, under here, sorry about the lights, but we got a trash bin, and then we got an outlet, you know, that runs to a power strip, which is over here, and then this, this little rack right here is actually meant for cable management, so I have, like, cables all nice and tidied up, the Xbox 360 power brick is sitting right there, all nice and tidy, and I have a surge protector there, and this is actually way better, and then I have an Ethernet running to the Xbox, then here I just have a camera bag, um, you know, place this thing right here is actually for the PlayStation 1, the, you know, the smaller version, and then I have a bunch of old Legos, and, and then the NES case right there that I'm going to restore soon, maybe. And then, um, a Wii bag that I never use anymore, because my, because I don't have a Wii anymore. Because my Wii is actually at my father's house. And, um, this Mac right here, it's a 6500 225 Mac. Um, ha we've had it for a long time. My dad bought it off eBay a few years ago, and it still runs. I had to swap out the hard drive in it because it, you know, a mechanical failure, and I have a keyboard and Apple desktop bus mouse on top, which is actually, it's actually not an official Apple mouse. It's like a Kensington kind of thing, and it's broken because they were actually not the best mice you could buy at the time. And ignore that because that's the space heater. <sighs> Well, oh yeah, one more thing. Since I have dual monitors, I can just like, I don't find the mouse. Okay, I can just like easily open up like a folder, for example. This is Slender. 
just like a folder that has Slender. I could just like drag it over and then I can open up like my iTunes library for example and leave it on that display and then I can open up Safari or I can have iMovie on this window and have the rec Elgato recording software on this side but then when I play games I switch the input on this TV to the Xbox and then um and then after that I just uh, drag but before I switch the input I drag the Elgato recording software to this to this display and then I just record. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.